but you have sunk to an all-time low. Go home. Annie Campbell is 14 years old. Yeah, and she got herself plastered, okay? How have we never had a drink in her life? What else happened? Well, I didn't touch her. Righto. Believe it, okay? Bottom line is, I can have any chick I wanted in this town. So why the hell would I want to fool around with Annie Campbell? Because you're sick. Yeah, right. Oh, and I can think of one chick you can't get. Good afternoon to you too. Uh, you, you the bird who defended that crazy preacher guy? If you're asking was the Reverend Hall my client, the answer is yes. So why'd you do that? Why'd you defend a guy who knew was nuts? Well, I think everybody deserves a fair hearing. <laughs> no chance of getting that around here. Well, it depends on what you've been up to, doesn't it? Um, it's Aiden, isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've heard about the incident between you and Annie Campbell. Yeah, there was no incident, all right? She got herself wasted and I was down on the beach trying to help her. Now, everyone wants my head. Well, if you treated people with more respect, they might be more inclined to trust you. Yeah, you're just as bad as everyone else, you stupid old bag. Ha-ha, <laughs> proving my point. Well, do you want to talk to me about the incident or not? How about stuff you? Tell me, have you ever been stuck inside a mountain? Locked in some experiment to measure your invention? A hypostatic element is killing my intention. I'm trying hard. Nice one, dude. What do you think you're doing in here? Uh, playing pool, sweetheart. What does it look like? I want you to leave now. What? I mean it. After what you did to Annie. Uh, how many times do I have to say it? Okay, I didn't touch a hair on a little Christian head. Just get out. Or I can call the cops if you want. No, I didn't think so. Until I know if you stole it. Look, I didn't steal it, okay? As for Aiden's grandfather, Stan, well, you're lucky to get two words out of him. He used to fish off the old wharf. Black was a veteran, too. Something else he never spoke about. So, the quiet grandfather breeds a very noisy grandson. More than flame and noisy, the kid's a troublemaker. But I get the impression this isn't just a casual inquiry. Does Aidan Jeffries remind you of anyone? Rick! Oh, come on, cast your mind back, Alfred. He was trouble when he first came to town. Well, he had his reasons. And look at him now, he's a fine young man. Wouldn't hold my breath waiting for that to happen with Aidan. Well, funnily enough, he came asking me for legal counsel. Are you kidding? Yeah, well, he might be accused of doing something morally reprehensible by all and sundry. Doesn't mean he's guilty, Alfred. And don't tell me. You're going to do something about it. I don't know. Yet. But what I do know is I'm not going to stand by and see him thrown to the wolves. Hey, Jeffries, you're walking pretty tall for a gutless wonder. Do you know what I'm looking forward to? Puberty? <laughs> no. The look on your faces when Annie tells the cops what actually happened. It's going to be priceless. We know exactly what happened. Oh, come on. If I'm going to get anyone drunk, it's not going to be Little Miss Sound of Music. If you know what I mean. Ignore him. Boy, Jeffrey's your pretty boy. Turn around and man up. Come on. What? What's, What's the what? problem here? No problem, sir. And keep your voice down. Get to class. I need to speak to Aidan Jeffries. Yep, he's uh, right about there. All right. Everyone else out. Stop gawking. Look, haven't you guys got anything more important to do than hassle me? Yes, in fact, so I'll keep this short. We need you to come down to the station this afternoon and make a statement about what happened with Annie Campbell. You've got to be kidding me. I've already spoken to Jack Holden about all that stuff. I'm aware of that, but this is an official statement and that needs to be taken down at the station. Okay, so why don't you just ask her what happened? Well, we have, but she claims she can't remember anything. It's her fault she got hammered, not mine. How about you put that in your statement? Four o'clock? Well, and if I don't go? I mean, why should I? I did nothing wrong. Well, why don't you pull your head in and start acting like it? 
four o'clock. You have got a hide showing up in here, mate. Yeah, chocolate milkshake, thanks. Oh, and uh, a bit less of the attitude, thanks. How about you get your ugly mug out of here? How's that for attitude? Why the aggro, huh? You don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, you reckon? I have got one very sick little girl at home nursing the mother of all hangovers while you swan around town like Jack the Flippin' Lad. Now, does that seem fair to you? Well, how about getting dragged down to the cop station for something you didn't do? How's that for fair, Irene? Um, what's going on here? All I ask for a drink? She's treating me like Hannibal Lecter. Hey, if the mask fits... Irene, can we just forget the histrionics? Why don't you just give him a drink? Morag, this is my business. I'll serve him like flip him all light. And does the phrase innocent until proven guilty mean anything to you? Oh, and I'll know if you spit in it. Ada! Sit down. Why should I listen to you? Because I think you need help. And as far as I can gather, I'm the only one who's going to give it to you. I don't get it. I mean, why'd you change your mind? I got the impression yesterday you didn't want to bar me. Well, yesterday your manner left a lot to be desired. Today, however, let's just say that you remind me of someone who had the benefit of a second chance. So, I don't see why you shouldn't. No, well, I mean, the cops have got nothing on me. I did try to help her, I swear. Well, unfortunately, your reputation precedes you, and I tried to help her, I swear, doesn't cut it. Now, my help is yours if you want it. Well, I can't pay you anything. Well, I don't recall asking you for anything. <laughs> yeah, like a, like a lawyer's going to work for nothing. <laughs> All right. Yes. Um, yes? Yes, what? Yes, you would want me to represent you? Yes, please. Ah. You know your friends aren't going to like this. My dear boy, if I spent my time worrying about what the good people of Summer Bay think of me, I wouldn't leave home. No, we have a lot to talk about. The boy is my client, Irene, and I have no intention of discussing him with you. Why don't you two strap on the gloves and be done with it and try not to break anything? Look, all I'm saying is you don't know him like I do. The bloke is bad news. Blind Freddy can see that. Oh, Hello? Why do we need an eagle system? And speaking, what can I do for you? Jury and executioner. Yeah, and damned happy to be all of them as far as that mongrel's concerned. Irene, all I'm doing is helping him formulate a defence which is his legal right.